Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to get started with ordering a Minecraft server. As you can see, we've gone to the Pebblehost.com website, and we're going to go ahead and click View Plans over the Minecraft Server tab. At the top of the page, you'll see a list of features that we offer for our plans. Some of the more notable ones are unlimited slots, resource analytics, 24-7 Discord support, as well as a 72-hour refund policy. If we scroll down to the middle of the page, you'll see three tiers of performance. The first tier being budget, the second tier being premium, and the third tier being extreme. The budget tier has an Intel Xeon E5 1630v3, DDR4 memory, unmetered enterprise grade SSDs, 160 gigabit a second DDoS protection, unlimited slots, and available in North America and Europe. If we scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the order the server section. Here you can select the version you plan to run, as well as the type of server you're wanting to run, spigot or paper, vanilla Minecraft bedrock, or forge modpack. Depending on what version and what type of server you're wanting to run, we'll recommend a server based on what you choose. So for example, if I choose 1.13 or above, but I want a Forge mod pack, you'll see the slider go up to a 6GB budget Minecraft. And this is the minimum we recommend for this plan. The same goes if I choose 1.13 or above and choose spigot slash paper. 3GB is the minimum we suggest for these plans. Obviously, you can control the slider yourself by going to 1GB or up to 25GB. Once you've selected a plan, you can go ahead and click Configure Plan. If we take a look back up at the tiers, you can see the Premium and Extreme plans. Premium offers an i9-9900K or a Xeon E2288G, DDR4 memory, unmetered enterprise-grade NVMe SSDs, 480 gigabit a second DDoS protection, unlimited slots, North America, Europe, and Australia locations, free automatic backups, and one-click mod installer. The extreme tier are for users who are serious about wanting a powerful server. While it's running the same hardware as the premium servers, if we go ahead and click View Plans, you'll be able to see that we have dedicated CPU threads. Now what this means is essentially you can choose how many threads you want your server to have. If you're unsure as to what threads are or you want to learn more about our extreme plans, you can go ahead and click the knowledge base article linked in the description of this video. As you can see, we can control the number of threads our server has, going from two threads all the way up to five threads. The memory slider is very similar to the other two tiers that we looked at. However, the one difference is extreme plans start at 6 gigabytes and go all the way up to 25 gigabytes like the other plans. Now that we've given a quick description of each tier, let's go ahead and choose a plan. So I've gone ahead and chosen the 1 gigabyte budget Minecraft plan, and as you can see, it's $3 a quarter. This means every three months, I'll have to pay $3. Let's go ahead and click configure plan, and this will bring us to the billing page. We can choose our billing cycle here, so we can go from quarterly, semi-annually, or annually. We can choose a location. For budget, our options are North America or Europe. Automated daily reboots. Advanced DDoS mitigation, which we actually have covered in a previous tutorial video as to what exactly this is. If you're curious on that, that'll actually also be linked in the description of this video. A dedicated IP, which we've also covered on a knowledge base guide, so you can go ahead and check that out by clicking here. As budget doesn't come with automatic backups, I do highly suggest uh, choosing this option as that way your budget server will have automatic backups taken every day and then kept for the number of days that you choose. Here we can choose a pre-install such as a mod pack that uh, we would like to play. Here's where we're going to choose a server version or alternatively you can just leave it as none. I'll set up my own jar um, to upload your own jar file. We can choose between the different categories here of vanilla, spigot, craft bucket, paper spigot, bungee cord, and bedrock. So here's where we're going to need to actually choose a server name. Now this is just the name of the server in the Minecraft panel. Um, and like it says, don't worry, it can be changed at any time. So we'll just call this server uh, test server tutorial. At the bottom here we have different available add-ons such as advanced Minecraft support, bungee cord configuration, Dynamap configuration, geyser setup, world setup, and permission setup. Keep in mind, all of the add-ons besides advanced Minecraft support will need a billing ticket opened whenever you do purchase them. Once you've configured the service that you're wanting, go ahead and click continue. And now it's going to bring us to the actual review and checkout page. If you don't already have an account with Pebblehost, you'll need to go ahead and create an account or if you're an existing user, you can click existing customer. Keep in mind whenever creating your account, make sure to put accurate details. Since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just leave my login information in here. And I will need to choose a payment method and agree to the terms and conditions once I've gone ahead and read them. So for my payment method, I'm just going to leave it as PayPal. However, we also uh, accept Stripe, which accepts credit, debit, and Google Pay, as well as Paygoal. 
Once you've gone ahead and read the terms of service, we can go back to the shopping cart, click I've read and agreed to the terms of service, click checkout. So now we've got the option to go ahead and actually pay for our server. So as you can see, here's the invoice. And because this is a tutorial video, I've actually received a bit of account credit, so I can go ahead and click apply account credit. If you do happen to have account credit, you can also do the same. However, if not, and you're choosing um, PayPal, you can either choose PayPal subscribe or PayPal checkout. Now PayPal subscribe will set up a subscription. So whenever your next invoice is generated, the payment is automatically sent, so you don't have to worry about it. However, if you just want to check out and not worry about reoccurring payments, you can go ahead and click the PayPal checkout. If you're using Stripe, you'll have the simple option of clicking Pay Now, and that will forward you to Stripe. And if you're choosing Pay Goal, you can go ahead and just choose the Pay Now button as well. Once you've confirmed that the details listed here are what you would like to pay for, you can go ahead and either apply credit like I'm going to do, or check out using one of the methods we've covered. So I'm going to go ahead and click Apply Credit. And once the payment's gone through, you'll be redirected back to the billing page and it'll say order confirmation. It's going to send us an email uh, confirming that we've paid for it and also send us our login details. So let's go ahead and jump into our email and go ahead and check for those details. Okay, so I've jumped into my email account and as you can see, I have four emails from Pebblehost. The first email is confirming that we've signed up for a billing account. The second email is the order confirmation for our server. The third email is the invoice payment confirmation, confirming that we've paid for the invoice. And our fourth email is the Minecraft server order details. If you're not finding any of these emails, go ahead and click more in your email. Or if you're using another email provider, you can go ahead and find the spam folder and look in the spam folder for these emails. If you haven't been sent the invoice payment confirmation or the Minecraft server order details, go ahead and double check that the invoice is paid for by going to billing and then my invoices. If you've received the invoice payment confirmation but have yet to receive the server order details, give it a little bit of time. However, if you haven't received them after 10 to 15 minutes, go ahead and go back to the billing panel, click support, and then you can go ahead and click open ticket here down at the support dropdown. For the ticket inquiry, you can go ahead and choose billing inquiries, and then essentially explain your issue here that you've gone ahead and paid for your invoice, but you've yet to receive your server. Let's go ahead and click Minecraft server order details to view our actual details. And as you can see, it will say dear and then your account name. So mine's just set as Pebble Tutorials and give you a quick uh, thank you for choosing Pebblehost. It'll have the plan confirmation and then the logging into the panel details. So you'll need to go to panel.pebblehost.com. So let's go ahead and open that into another tab. This is our server ID, which will identify our server. And this will be our username and then our password. It will also list the server IP. So let's go ahead and copy the password. And keep in mind the billing account that you signed up for, that email will be your username for your uh, panel login. So let's go to the login page here and we'll go ahead and pre-fill our details. I just have mine saved here. However, I don't want it to pre-fill my uh, billing password. So we'll just go ahead and copy and paste the password that I got for my email. We're also gonna go ahead and check stay logged in here so we don't have to worry about signing back in. And we'll click log in. And now it's going to say, welcome to your Pebblehost panel account. And it's going to have us set a password for our panel um, because we don't want the same password that we were sent that it generated to be used there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and create a password that we can remember and also write down or save somewhere we can use to go and sign back into our panel. Once you've entered in your password, click set password and it's going to load the servers that you currently have. So test server tutorial, that's the server we just purchased. And as you can see, it's currently offline. We can go ahead and start that up. It's using the latest paper version. Once the server is fully online and you see that green dot or you've checked in console, you can go ahead and copy your IP and then launch Minecraft with the exact same version that's listed on the panel here. Once we've copied our IP, we'll need to enter that into Minecraft and join our server. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.